Welcome, Waffle Wolfets. We are back with a brilliant Robocop Rogue City on the PlayStation 5. And we are playing through this game on extreme difficulty. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now what we're going to be doing today is we've arrived at OPC headquarters. And we are going to be confronting the old man and finding out what Project Afterlife is and why he's been working with a criminal known as Wendell Antonowski. So let's get straight into things. Don't know if we're going to set off the metal detector or not. Nope, didn't sound like it. Oh, oh I guess they're not working. I suppose that's probably going to be a side mission for Robocop. Someone's going to tell us that the... Um, metal detectors are not working, and I'm going to have to go and fix them. It's pretty quiet in here. No one's really saying anything or doing anything. I didn't know today's bring your kid to work day. Had no choice. His nanny killed herself this morning. What? Well, bloody hell. Well, that was a bit flipping dark. There was no need for that. Jesus. Just let me go. You said yourself that you didn't have time for me. I know who you are, lady. You broke into the security room. You're up to something. Hey, Robo. Could you resolve this issue we're having? <sighs> Jesus Christ. The amount of stuff I've got to do for you is ridiculous. There's been a security breach I need to investigate. But someone's got to escort this trespasser out of the building. I could help in both cases. Good. The breach seems like a big job. Once you're done with her, can you join me in the server room? It's just down the hall. Sure he could. Don't think it's over, lady. I'll check the security cameras later to see what you've been up to. Expect a visit from the police in a couple of days. I'll buy coffee and donuts to welcome them. You are responsible for that security breach. I'm trying to save people's homes. Do I have to remind you what OCP is planning to do with the residents of old Detroit to create space for Delta City? You know, you really don't need to remind me because it's the only thing that you ever talk to me about, to be honest. I have a record of that issue. I need to find out what the estimates are for those additional costs. As you can imagine, they don't include them in their brochures. So I have to dig deeper. All the information I need to help those people is in the room where the security guard is expecting you. So can you help me get those records out? Okay, I mean, I've been helping you quite a lot now, so there's no point in me backing down now, is there? I will not let OCP hustle innocent people. You'll find the relevant data on one of the servers. I'll be waiting here to pick it up. Okay. I mean, to be honest, you should probably, uh... You should probably wait outside, because if they see that you're still hanging around, they're just going to have another security guard come and talk to you, so... It's beneficial for you to wait outside, to be honest. Got some pretty nice sunglasses as well. Look a little bit like, uh, T-Wolf sunglasses. Actually, no, they look nothing like T-Wolf sunglasses. I've got no idea why I said that. I mean, Delta City is definitely for the children, providing that those children are upper class with a lot of money. I think I'm going the right way. Yep. Over here. Could you help me with these doors? One second. Nothing. Well, we're not going to be finding no Nuka OPC, are we? Well, then again, I'm sure there's a bunch of CEOs and high people, high class, high up people that are smoking the drugs like there is in every company. So there probably would be nukes somewhere in here. I'm already tracking it. It's 
Someone likely tried to lay a hand on the data collected in this room. The security breach caused them to lock down. Can you open them? I need permission to enter the restricted area and damage OCP property. Do whatever it takes. Thank you, buddy. As long as I don't receive a bill later. I love when he barges through the door like wow, that. Wow, I need to reboot the security system. The malfunction shut down not only the doors, but also a nearby metal detector gate. That should do it. Thanks for your help, Robocop. I'll stay here. I need to be sure the room is safe before the technicians arrive. My new dumbass boss will chew my ear off about it if I don't. Right, where's the, uh... Okay, we are, we are tracking it. Oh no, the game's being very weird. Right, so if I remember correctly, we need to, uh, we need to hack into the server, but he's going to be watching us over there, I think. Well, to be honest, I don't even know how he can see. I mean, look, that's the top of his head, so he can't actually see what I'm doing, but I, I think he can. Better not touch that computer. If the technicians figure out that someone was messing with it, yeah, I think we need to get rid of you. So, you're still here? Tell me about the conflict with your boss. Your conflict with the head of security? What is that about? He's a walking sack of incompetence. For example, he put this metal detector gate nearby with no one to supervise it. So that means I have to run and check it every time it beeps. And don't even get me started on the door codes. I think I can tell you that. You're an OCP cop, right? My boss made it so the new security code for each door is always some number that you can easily find around the door. Thank God the doors aren't locked with keys. He'd probably make us leave keys under doormats. Well, that is a lot of very, very valuable information. Thank you, buddy. My duty awaits. Right. So he needs to uh, inspect a metal detector nearby every time it goes off. And I think we already walked past one a second ago. But none of them look like they're working at the moment, so we'll have to see if it'll work this time. But yeah, we need to basically set off the metal detector and then sprint back there and quickly get the stuff before he returns. Oh, bloody hell. Don't think I ever went in here off camera. Not that there was any reason to. There's fuck all in here. It says malfunction, though. Oh, no, it worked that time. I don't know why that keeps pop... There he goes. I don't know why that keeps popping up. I am tracking the mission. go. We really are a bit of a criminal nowadays, uh, Robocop. I know what we're doing is for the better good, but at the same time, we are technically doing something that is against the law, and you are Robocop who is not supposed to be able to break the law. So you really have changed, Robocop. Definitely for the better, you really are Alex Murphy. You are not Robocop, you are Alex Murphy. And that's a good thing. You don't want to be some heartless machine that does everything by the book when going by the book sometimes is not a good thing. You see it many times. Oh yeah, look, see? Uh, I think we have to go in here in a minute and he, he said that all door codes are written nearby. So there's the keypad and look, see? 2781. So you're going to have to scan that. Oh. Hope you appreciate this, because the bloody quest won't stop popping up on the bloody screen. Estimates. Do you have them? I cannot give them to you. Well, then what would be the point in me doing the bloody mission? Make good use of them. You helped a lot of people with this, Murphy. But there is one more issue. 
security footage. If I'm gonna expose OCP, I'd rather not be disturbed by anyone. Could you... Destroying evidence of a crime is beyond my programming. Who's talking about that? Shuffling database records will do just fine. All you need to do is recharge yourself using the computer in the security room. You could sure use a pick-me-up. You look pale, to be honest. Well, that's not very nice, is it? I mean, I can't get much sun. I've got a massive chunk of metal on my head. And the rest of my body is just pure metal. I will do what needs to be done to protect the innocent. Thanks to you, I'll be able to focus on what needs to be done as well. Stay safe, citizen. I don't know if I, uh... I don't know if I'm happy that I've helped you so much, to be honest. I really, I really don't feel that good about it. Because you are technically a reporter, and even though you're saying all this stuff to me, just saying about it don't feel right. I'm probably just overthinking it, but yeah. Lovely. If that pops up one more time, I'm going to throw this controller across the room. Well, see you, controller. Look, I'm literally tracking it. I did some shuffling. Thank you. The people of old Detroit will not forget what you've done for them. Okay. Now let's go find the old man and find out what this project afterlife is and why the hell he's been working and funding Wendell and Tanowski. Because they have both been making my life a living hell. And also everything that the old man's been doing, like the counselling that I've been receiving, None of it's been out of the goodness of his own heart. He's just been doing it because he's trying to get valuable information about Robocop. Because the old man is terrified of death, as we found out recently. So, clearly he's trying to do something where he's trying to, you know, keep himself alive after death. And I guess he wants to be like Robocop. Welcome to Omni Consumer Products. How may I help you? A meeting regarding afterlife is taking place right now. I want to know where. Let me check. Yes, that would be the executive conference room on the top floor. The elevators are behind me. But I'm looking at the guest list and I'm not seeing your name. I will be the highlight. Sweet. But you don't have the proper clearance. You won't be able to access the elevators, sir. Sir. Don't worry, I can access anything that I need to access. I just breached the door. Let me get that door for you. Oh you no. The way they treated you. Not on my watch. Going up? Huh? What are you talking about? Are you talking about that receptionist? She didn't treat me anyway. Oh, th that's the other uh, presidential candidate. Bit better than Kuzak, I would Beautiful, say. Beautiful, isn't it? This view gives me hope. Shows what Detroit is capable of when not hindered by the city's worst. You probably know that better than anyone else. You deal with filth more than any of us. These miserable people. Crammed into those tiny apartments like cockroaches. I swear I need a shower whenever I go canvassing in old Detroit. But not for much longer. I'm heading to a meeting about the Delta City relocations so that we finally get the poor, criminal elements out of our great city. Exciting, isn't it? You and me together. We'll clean the city right up. That's why I wouldn't mind you giving me a nod during your public appearances. We need a little push in the ratings. Remember, it's your freedom we're talking about. Anyway, great talk. Bo Mills, Bo Robocop. Okay. One thing I will say, though, what you just said about uh, people crammed into tiny little houses like cockroaches. I guarantee you, if you do build your new Delta City, 
guarantee you that the houses will be even smaller. All you've got to do is come to the UK. You look at the houses built like in the 1940s and 50s and 60s and stuff like that. Houses like, like the house I'm, I'm living in right now, I think it's from like the 1950s. It's pretty spacious. But you go to uh, any house built recently within the last 20, 30 years, they're puny. They are puny, especially if you're a taller person like me. They're fucking puny, it's embarrassing. Basically, especially if you're a gamer and you've got yourself a big ass TV, your living room will basically be a little kitchen stall, because you probably won't even be able to fit a fucking sofa in it in some of these places. It'll be a kitchen stall, a big ass TV and a PS5, and that's it. And I guess you can sleep on the floor if it's a studio apartment, where they don't even give you a bedroom. Uh, can someone take this robot away from here? I'm trying to work. Well, what the fuck is your problem? You're not doing no working, you're just procrastinating, you dickhead, whilst I'm actually working. You're so lucky that I'll just fucking spark a kick you right out of that window. There is no one here. What? Look around. See if we're missing something. Oh, that's a new motherboard for our gun. I'm guessing that's like some sort of a replica of um, Delta City. That's a, bit, a little bit like uh, Canary Wolf. I think it's called Canary Wolf. Where the big uh, HSBC building is in London. I think that's Canary Wolf, I can't remember. Nothing with him. Until now. Afterlife. OCP's answer to death itself. As a front runner in human machine hybrids, OCP is focused on proving that death is no longer the end. With a number of successful prototypes, our team continues to work tirelessly to ensure afterlife is more stable than any of our previous cybernetic achievements. We've come a long way since OCP's first cyborg. This is how I see myself. To now. Hi, I'm Eve, and I've died, but that's not stopping me. With the newest development in cyborg research, OCP was able to give me another chance. And now I'm back to enjoying my life. Or should I say, afterlife. Because at OCP, the goal is no longer to live, but to thrive after death. And since our friends in the government are fighting for human rights for all people that were once pronounced dead, my life will return to what it was in no time. Under my legislation, RoboCop and all future cyborgs will be granted human rights. They'll be able to live, vote, and run their businesses just like the rest of us. Vote Mills, vote RoboCop. Afterlife, eternity, today. Oh, sorry, I didn't know someone was here. Eve? It's actually Meg. Are you like me? So you've seen the ad, huh? Sorry, I'm not a robot. Just a commercial actress. I've been a face for a lot of stinkers, but good luck selling Afterlife. Technology that won't be available to us for the next hundred years or so, I've heard. Where is everyone? From what I understand, the old man cancelled the meeting last minute. I don't know why no one tells me anything around here. So he is behind all of it? Who else would authorize funding of such a pretentious project? Yeah, that is a good point. But then again, he would have... Um provided funding for Alex Murphy to be turned into Robocop, so we can't, we can't give him too much shit. Are you selling a de defective product? So you are selling something that does not work? That's advertising for you. At least with Afterlife, we won't get many complaints from the dissatisfied customers. Because <laughs> they'd be dead, you know? Yes, Meg, I'm not a fucking plank. Jesus Christ. What about the money? What about all the money that went into research? From what I hear, OCP gave it the college try. They spent a lot of money on some prototypes, but this time they ended up with nothing. 
That's how it often goes with these cutting edge projects. I imagine there were quite a lot of unsuccessful Robocops before you came along. Yeah, it's a bit like Google. Google does that quite a lot with their money. Even though Google ain't the best company, they do spend a shit ton of money on just random, a lot of the time just random fun things. And those random fun things could end up being very useful to the general public for fun or just for making our lives better. Hey, yeah, Google does a lot of shit. If you have a look at some of the projects Google does, some of them are just hilarious. It makes no sense. If I had a ton of money, I'd do stuff like that, you know? If I can research things and create things that nobody else can afford to try and create that will better mankind, I'll do it. It'd be fun. Where did they conduct the research? Where did they conduct the research for this project? I don't know. But I don't think it's in this building. I've noticed that there are always big cooling trucks parked in front of OCP when they're showing off new tech. Where is the old man? Where is the old man? Probably in his office, at the end of the hall. But I don't think barging in unannounced is such a good idea. I disagree. A Robocop don't give a shit about anything. I'll see you later, you phony. Well, that was a delayed response. I, I like how uh, kind of happy Robocop seemed to be when uh, he thought that Meg was Eve, Eve the Cyborg. He seemed a little bit happy then, but then she completely crushed his heart. Poor Robocop. It would be nice to have somebody else that's just like you in terms of being a robot. Because who, who the hell else are you going to talk to about this? I mean, yeah, you've got people like Dr. Blanche that have got like a robotic arm and stuff like that. But no one in this world is literally a brain and a face attached to a robot. That's just you, Alex. So it would be nice if you could have someone else that had gone through it that you could speak to. Why was he smiling when I signed it? He never smiles. There must be a catch. He set me up for something. Yeah, that's me. Do you think they you have to stop coming down? to the office? You no longer work here. You were fired last month. Put your hands up, you are under arrest. That's no way to talk to an acting CEO. You didn't come here to congratulate me? So, you haven't heard. It's been on every channel for the past hour. Watch some TV once in a while, life's passing you by. As the former CEO of Omni Consumer Products, passed away earlier this morning. We at Channel 9 are deeply saddened by this horrific tragedy. Our condolences go out to the OCP family in these dark times. In other news, why do balloons make that popping sound? About time the old man kicked the bucket. A Japanese company is already eyeing to buy us out. The way he was managing the company lately, he'd basically run it to the ground. Especially with his personal projects. Afterlife. Ah, oh, you heard about that too. How desperate. Just die gracefully, you old fuck. But don't you worry about it. As an acting CEO, I'm putting a stop to all of OCP's unnecessary expenses. And that includes all of the old man's pet projects. So say bye-bye to Afterlife. And Delta City, for that matter. I... I I mean, that's kind of a good thing, I guess. Well, the Delta City is debatable. Someone needs to take responsibility. Someone needs to take responsibility. Someone did. The demented old man behind all of this sick shit is dead. I'm shutting down Afterlife, so you should be happy. So there's nothing for you to worry about anymore. Well, maybe about collecting unemployment, since I'm firing the entire police force and replacing them all with my robots. Those robots are unreliable. Oh, that's adorable. Especially coming from you. But you'll get to see the improvements we've made firsthand. Since I need you to come to the Arms Expo. Just don't be late. Now, you leave. 
Bitches, come. <laughs> what? It's time to celebrate. Let's throw the old man a hell of a wake. Oh, Robo. That expo thing is a black tie event. Then again, I guess that doesn't concern you. I don't know what kind of fancy button he's got or what kind of fancy intercom he's uh, got, but if I shouted, bitches come, I don't think no bitches would come in like this. They'd, they'd probably come beat me up. <laughs> you could arrest me, officer. I even have my own handcuffs. Well, I'm, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, that does sound uh, very, 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 very slightly enticing, but your knees kind of look a little bit. I'm guessing bruised, so I'm assuming you've been on your knees a lot, which means, yeah, I can smell your breath from here, dear. No, thank you. Okay. And also, I'm a married man. Obviously, I'm talking from the perspective because of, of uh, Robocop. I'm not married. Company, you will be informed by your superiors about the recommended ways to experience mourning. The meeting is not included as work time. Thank you. Oh dear. Right, so what are we actually dealing with? Wendell is still out there, but we haven't said anything about Wendell. And uh, Becca is gonna f has fired the entire police force, including Robocop. And he's going to replace us all with his weird flipping robots. Well, things are not looking very promising, are they? Oh, God. The old man is dead. Yeah, I just heard. So what do we do about afterlife? Becker is shutting it down. Not the only thing he's shutting down. I just got a call from the precinct. Everyone's been fired. So what now? What about Wendell? We wait for his move. He'll be desperate. I bet he'll try to get as many supplies as he can before his money runs out. But where will he go to do that? The Detroit Arms Expo. Shit, that's right around the corner. I could go there. No, stay with Dr. Blanche. Becker wants me to attend the expo. This way, I can keep an eye on unwanted guests. I hear you. Okay, are we doing that right now? Because firstly, I'm not wearing a black tie. And secondly, I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to get the whole of this mission done. And it's not really a mission I want to half do. How many of these people here actually care about the old man? That is the question. I can't believe he's gone. He was so young. What are you talking about? Such a tragedy, but uh, are our bonuses... Oh, there you go. They're the real, the real uh, emotions are coming out now. You're not wrong there, buddy. Becker is an absolute jerk. Find Max Becker. Yeah, we are doing this mission straight away then. Okay. Well, I'm sure nothing's going to go horribly wrong when we're dealing with a bunch of these uh, defective robots that have already attacked me. Here? Good. Proceed to the main stage and stand on the podium. There's an old friend waiting for you there already. Is that from the movies? I'm not sure. I mean, I've only seen Robocop 1 several times. I think I saw Robocop 2 once and I've never seen the third one. I swear I recognise that from the film. I might be lying though. No. Or it might be just from Robot Wars. If you've never seen Robot, War Robot Wars on BBC, I recommend you find it. See if you can get the box set online somewhere or see if you can find the episodes on YouTube. Watch Robot Wars, it's amazing. I got the game on PS2, loved it. We have to be on the lookout for Antonovsky. Do you ever just stop? We won. So smile. That is horrifying. Okay, don't smile. Creeping me out. 
It's showtime. Welcome, everyone, to the Detroit Arms Expo, where we will show you the newest, hottest advancements in urban warfare. Thank you. Thank you. Now, please, before we proceed, let's take a moment to honor the man who made all of this possible. So join me in a minute of silence. Now, let's start the party. That was the shortest minute I've ever seen. OCP has always been the pioneer pushing the limits of what's been possible in security technology. Those efforts gave us RoboCop and RoboCop 2. That's right. But much like our late CEO, RoboCop is the past. And we need to look at the future. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present OCP's newest achievement, the UEDs, Urban Enforcement Droids. A reliable solution to crime with the push of a button. UEDs will be exclusively protecting the streets of Detroit since the police left the citizens of our city to the mercy of the criminal element by going on a strike. But no need for alarm. UEDs are ready to patrol the city today. Today will be their first major test, the protection of the mayoral election rally. Now, let's open up the floor to the questions. I'm sure you're dying to hear more about my robots, yes? I have a question for RoboCop. In view of the police strike, do you think these new robots are actually capable of protecting the city? No. The police were fired. The police did not strike. We were fired. The police left because they felt threatened by the UEDs. And rightfully so. My machines are superior in every way. A presentation is in order to show that those are not just empty words. I have another question for RoboCop. It's about the candidates for mayoral elections. Who cares? It can't even vote in the damn thing. It's just an OCP product. There are a lot of people that value his opinion. Polls show that RoboCop's words and actions have influence ratings for both candidates several times already. How? So, RoboCop, could you give us all a definite answer and put our minds at ease? Is Mills' promise to grant you and all future cyborgs human rights enough to earn your support? Knowing you'd possibly get your freedom back? Freedom to do what exactly? Get back with his family? Start a business? Join a bowling team? Or will you, contrary to your creator's interest, encourage people to vote for Mayor Kuzak, OCP's loudest adversary? Uh, I want to say I support no one because I don't support either of them. But when I didn't support anybody off camera, I think uh, Kuzak got re-elected. So I'm going to say I support John Mills. I don't know if everything's going to go horribly wrong if I say this, but I'm just going to say I support John Mills just because I want to see if it changes the story in any way. It should change it maybe a little bit just to keep it fresh for me. But just know I want to pick this one. I support John Mills. Thank you for such a straight answer. I'm sure there are people who've waited to hear it. Well, there you have it. Now we can get back to why we all gathered here. My robots. It's time to present what these bad boys are capable of, huh? I just need to find the remote. Oh no, oh you prat. And where did I put it? How can you misplace a remote that size? Is, is that normal? No. Run. Huh? I... It's just a prototype. No need to worry. More will come. What the hell are you talking about? What was that? All of you need to leave. What is happening? Right. I lost my remote. There's a lot of guns over there. 
just making it a bit hard to see the uh, robot. What are they flipping doing? Who's blowing things up? Someone's got a rocket launcher. Take that, you bastard. One thing I do want to bring, actually, is I'm going to bring this. I'm not going to use it, but I'm going to bring it with me. It's going to be useful for an enemy we're going to see in a minute. I also need to remember I can uh, turn on my shield. Secure Hawaii. Uh oh. Did you remember? No, damn it. But there's another way. We can't control them, but we can make them stop. Take me to the Expo Depot. The entrance is through Hall C. I'll open the gate. Just clear the space. The code doesn't work. Luckily, I'm the one who sold them this garbage, so I know what to do. Just destroy the fuse box, and the gate will open. Do it. All right, I got a minute. I've got to end the video. Uh... What is your plan? I give the orders and you follow them. Maybe it'll work that way for once. Okay, since I open the gate, you clear the way to Hall C. I remember differently. Your memory is glitchy. All right. Thanks for watching, Wolf Movets. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Sorry that I'm having to end it at a uh, a uh, eventful time, but yeah, if I uh do the whole of this mission, I think the video end up being like 50 minutes and it'll just take way too long to render, especially in 4K. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and join the pack today.